zippity doo da beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. Now, as you can see behind me, I'm filming today's video here on the beaches here of the Contemporary Resort here in Walt Disney World. Now, what I want to talk to you about today is a very important subject, and, and that is, are you putting your business at risk? And uh, one of my favorite quotes from Mark Cuban from Shark Tank, uh, also owns one of the NBA teams, a billionaire. And uh, one of the things that he says is, is you can't delegate what you don't know. And so recently he hired, or excuse me, recently he took a, a computer programming class. And the reason for that is he says that when he hires, you know, computer programmers, if he doesn't know what he's doing or if he doesn't have at least a, a decent amount of education on the subject, he can't really hire somebody and to know whether they're doing a good job or whether they're taking advantage of them. Now, one of the questions that we asked you in a previous video, I um, mean, we've even probably talked about this if we've, if, if we've actually had a, a conversation either between me or one of my business partners, if we've actually had a conversation with you, and that is, how much do you know about your taxes? How much do you know about investing? How much do you know about your cash flow? So what we do is we hire different experts to kind of handle this stuff for us, but if we don't know about this ourselves, we leave ourselves open to being taken advantage of. Now, one of the things that we've talked about in some of our previous videos, and that is that the average millionaire spends about 60 minutes a day educating themselves on business and financial material. And on the other hand, the average, the average person, somebody who is not a millionaire, uh, spends about six hours every day watching TV. They also will spend about another two hours online doing non-productive activity, and then another two hours on the phone in non-conversational activity. Now, as working class businesses, businesses in the middle class, uh, so many times we can't afford good financial advice. You know, we've all heard that you get what you pay for, right? Take, for instance, there's a commercial insurance agency in Los Angeles, California named uh, Answer Insurance. And they really cater to this, uh, you know, the middle class, the uh, average working man businesses. They deal with a lot of contractors and plumbers and electricians and, and businesses of that type. And one of the things that they suggest to their clients is to become a general partnership. And, uh, and so that's really bad financial advice because... By, by taking that advice, again, so many times as, as businesses in the middle class, we can't afford good financial advice, uh, but by taking that advice, we really leave ourselves open to really losing everything that we own. So again, we can't delegate what we don't know. So if he would give us this financial advice and, and we take it, we wouldn't really understand the, the downside and the, the repercussions because of it or the consequences of it. Uh, because we don't have this financial education. So this is why we want to spend, again, an average of about 60 minutes a day educating them so ourselves on business and financial material. Now, again, even if your goal is not to become a millionaire, uh, you can use this information to become uh, financially sophisticated and so you can get ahead. Now, again, you might not be able to afford to be able to sit down with a Richard Branson or a Warren Buffett, but you can go ahead and read their books. Now, when it comes down to setting up this area of your business, getting this part of your business handled as well, uh, again, we just generally can't afford good financial advice. So what do we do? So we read the books of those who are successful in this type of area, who would charge you know, tens of thousands of dollars to, to meet with them and to set a corporation up and set a business up. Uh, but we, in the book that I do suggest is, it's in the book, uh, it's in the uh, series of the Rich Dad Poor Dad books called Own Your Own Corporation. Now this book was written by Garrett Sutton. And he's an attorney, has over 20 years of experience in, in helping businesses and individuals set up the, the proper business structure to not only to, per, to lower their taxes, and that's generally what most small businesses look for, but also to protect their liabilities and give them, act, uh, and give them a, a asset protection. So uh, I'm going to review, over the next few minutes, I'm going to just review a couple of these things. And first of all, what we want to look at is we want to look at the most dangerous type of corporations or uh, most dangerous type of business structures, not even corporations, but the most dangerous type of business structures. 
Now again, as you can see here behind me, I'm hanging out here in uh, Walt Disney World at the uh, Contemporary Resort. And if you've ever seen the Disney movie, the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, and in those movies they talk about a thing that is called the East India Trading Company. And in this book of On Your Incorporation by, uh, by uh, you know, in the Rich Dad Poor Dad series by Garrett Sutton, um, they talk about the history of how these corporations came to be. America is a corporation. So back in that time, as you can see, Back, back behind me, there's some ships over there. And uh, during that time, they would send off these ships, right? And they would go search for treasure. And if the ships came back, the, the investors in that, that ship would, re, would reap a lot of rewards and, and get rich just from one, one ship, right? So what ended up happening during that time, though, is w when people finance a ship, and if it didn't make it, the people were held liable and they were completely wiped out. So there was a, a legal entity that was developed of these corporations. And so what it did is you might invest in a ship and if your if your loved ones went off and, and you know and, and went and embarked on this, this journey and if they didn't return, you were not held liable. So at the time, you, first of all, you had the, the owner of the ship, so you're held liable for that. Um, Every, the crew, everything on that. So people were, or during that time, were completely wiped out. So they created these, these corporations. So you had the, the Dutch East India Trading Company and the British East India Trading Company. And so there's, those were corporations. Now, how does, how does this relate today? Now, again, uh, there's this, this insurance agency that, uh, that, uh, that I worked with. And uh, what they were doing at one time is they, is they were suggesting that their uh, clients who are all business owners in the working class to get a general partnership. Why is a general partnership dangerous? Well, because you're liable for your partners. So let's say your partners is goes a, a, ahead and signs a lease for something or buys something, puts you financially responsible for it. You didn't agree to it, but you're still held liable. If they go and, and do something dangerous, you know, do something, um, you know, and, and cause damage or, or anything that they do, you are held liable. And so they, that, the, and because the business is in your name, so everything is in your name, they don't attack the business, they attack everything. So they take your home, your, your retirement, your cash, and this leads to many divorces and it leads to just a whole bunch of problems. Now, another thing is a sole proprietorship or uh, getting this through a DBA. Same type of situation. If anything goes wrong, if somebody wants to sue you or, for, uh, uh, you know, for, for any little thing, you are completely held liable. So the reason that I asked you is how much do you, how, you know, are, are you putting your business at risk? When you have these different corporations, we're going to talk about corporations in another video and which corporation is really best for you. Again, we do suggest you to go through the book of Own Your Own Corporation um, in the Rich Dad Poor Dad series with Garrett Sutton and you can learn more about this yourself. But um, when you have these individual, uh, again, general partnerships and sole proprietorships, you are held liable for everything. So a corporation protects you from that. And so you put your business, you put your home, you put everything in the corporation and not in your name. Because if it's in your name, somebody else can take, take it. Now, they can, they can sue you just because they don't like you. You know, we're in a sue happy society. You know, they, there's this joke that there's two ways to get rich win the lottery or sue somebody. You know, obviously you can work hard for it too, but that's kind of a little joke that is passed around. So, owning, being a sole proprietorship and a, and a general partnership is the most dangerous type of businesses that you, you can own. You're also taxed highly because of it as well. So most of you who are small and medium sized business owners, you run corporation or you run general partnerships and you run sole proprietorships. Now you are also generally going to be self-employed at, at about a 40%, 39% uh, uh, income tax rate, right? Um, but in addition to that, you are self-employed, so you have a self-employment tax of about another 15%. So you're not you're you're paying a whole bunch of money in taxes that you don't need to. So if you just make some slight of little modifications in your business, even if you make no more money, if you make no more money, you're going to be able to keep more of that money in your pocket. So we're going to show you for every ten thousand dollars that you make, how you're going to be able to keep another. 
$1,500 for every $10,000 that you make in your pocket. So let's say that you make $30,000 a year. That's an extra $4,500 in your pocket that you're able to keep. And what do you want to spend that on? You know, 40, an extra $4,500 is not a joke, right? You can, there's a lot of things that you could do with it. So instead of spending that, letting the government take that from it, why don't you use that and use that to be able to provide for your family? So yes, there's a lot of things that we do of how to increase your income. Again, one of the things that we've been talking about here is how to, how to harness the spending power of your customers who are spending money with other businesses for you to make 10 or 20 times more profits from your already existing customer base. We also are, have showed you how to use the money uh, as your competitors are spending in advertising and how you can use that money to go ahead and get yourself more customers. But another area that we want to look at is you're just spending way too much money than you need to. So there's little things that you can do by becoming educated and educating ourselves on you know, on this stuff by, by, again, following the principles of what millionaires do. Again, they read uh, 60 minutes a day each and every day on business and financial material. And not that you're necessarily looking to become a millionaire, but if you educated yourself on this stuff, you would be more financially ahead, you'd be more financially sophisticated, and you'd be able to provide for your family better. And so you might not have time to read the entire, you know, own your own corporation book, but what I'm going to do with you here is I'm just going to give you the brief notes of it, and, and so you can use these exact same principles and, how, and use this to be able to keep more of your own money. So in our next video, I'll talk about what are the different type of corporations, which one is good for you based upon the type of business that you run. But obviously, I do suggest you to go check out uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad's book, Own Your Own Corporation. But I do hope this information has been helpful. I had a blast filming this video out here for you today. Hopefully, you get to come out here and enjoy it with us sometime. But uh, take care, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye now. Now, I hope this information has been helpful. If you hey, I want to invite you to order our free DVD. Now on that DVD, you will discover how to use the money that your competition is spending in advertising and how you can use that to get more business for yourself. Now the first time that I did this, one of my competitors was spending $100,000 a month in advertising. And I used that money to be able to get 141 sales for myself in the very first six hours that I did this. And I'll show you how you can go ahead and do the same thing as well. Now next you'll see how to harness the spending power of your customers who are spending money with other businesses and how you can use that to make 10 or 20 times more profits from your already existing customer base. So you have customers and those customers are buying things from other businesses, right? So we'll show you how to make money when your customers are buying from other local businesses or perhaps even online, and that will enable you to make 10 to 20 times more profits from your already existing customer base. Then we'll reveal the secrets of what companies like Apple, Disney, McDonald's do to never pay out of pocket for their business expenses ever again and how you can go ahead and do the same thing. Then you'll see how to get companies to pay you in order for you to advertise your business and much, much, much more. So if you're on our website, if you look down below directly underneath this video, you'll find a little link that you can click on to order your free DVD. Otherwise, go visit freedvd.prostarprofits.com. Again, that's freedvd.prostarprofits.com. Again, I hope this information has been helpful. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.